Our life is in danger in Kuji. Abaki Yari tells course as a files another bill application. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Suspended DCB Abaki Yari on Wednesday approached the Federal High Court in Abuja to grant him bail following the July 5th attack on Kuji Constitutional Center by Boko Haram terrorist Hufrit's course of their members. Daily Trust reports that Kiari and other officers of the Inspector General of Police, IGP's Intelligence Response Team, IRT, through their counsel, told Justice Emeka Unite that their lives are in danger in the custodial facility. Moving the motion for bail, their counsel, Onyechi Bazu San, who appeared for first, Ikari, fourth, and fifth defendants, said, Granting his clients bail was a necessity because their lives are no longer safe where they are currently detained. They said the officers who had performed excellently well in their profession by apprehending dangerous and high profile criminals, most of who are in the same prison with them, should not be kept in the facility. It might urge the court to admit to them to bail on liberal terms. Also, Boyega Oyewali counsel for the second defendant spoke in the same vein. However, counsels of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the LEA said that Joseph disagreed with the defense counsel. He urged the court to dismiss the bail application. Justice Winter adjourned the matter until August 30 for a ruling. Earlier in the trial, the NDLEA's lawyer, Joseph, tendered a sum of $61,400 allegedly used by suspended DCP Abakiyari to bribe the agency officer and the drug trafficking suit preferred against him and four other police officers. Joseph tendered a cash in the open courts before the judge when the third prosecution's witness, Peter Jeshua, was being led in evidence in the trial of the suspected IRT members. At the resumed trial, Joshua, who works at the NDLEA FCT command as an exhibit officer, testified against Kiyari and his men. Justice Witte admitted the cash in evidence as Exhibit 11 after the defense counsel did not oppose to the application. Hmm. Yeah. I feel sorry. I feel so sorry for him. Sincerely, I really, really feel sorry. Yes, tell me that he was actually the best during his time, but his best is surrounded by some fishy, fishy, fishy details that doesn't sit well with the people of Nigeria and even the court. Only you and people accuse you say they're guilty of apprehending people, extorting them of money, and leaving them to die. Like that thing they do me, kill, kill for ear. I don't know, it sounds somehow for my ear that they apprehend people who they, who they, who they have trailed. How can we not believe now? Nah? That means if you give on deep money for this country, even if you are legit, you are not even safe. They may just call you, frame you. Before you know it, if you don't know people, worry, your case is closed. Because in Nigeria, you, if you have only money, there is problem. You have to know people. Sincerely. Huh. Even with the money that you make legitly, you have to know people, powerful people. First, what the people, especially the innocent, first what the people did against the, against people, against people, especially the innocent people boys, faced in your bloody filthy hands. <laughs> Let his fellow criminals in uniform parading themselves as super cops learn their lessons, otherwise, the same fate will befall them. Sincerely, sincerely. Me, I even feel they should revisit cases that this man handled. Yeah, to me, to find out more. More things, if he's really, really um, clean, as he says he is. Abakiari was the most dangerous criminal. He's just pretending as a good person. If not, how can a man that is apprehending dangerous criminal will now be on the first list of the most dangerous criminal? I beg, check him now. Okay. And you know his case is quite different. Had he been Abakiari is a citizen of Nigeria, just an, an a civilian, rather. Do you know we are not even going to be, but because he knew the law. He was an enforcer of this law, and you can't go lose God or more. Then go treat you anyhow. There are many rich and poor people in the same prison with you or waiting trial. So why would you be in danger? What goes around certainly does come around. Okay. You people 
You put people's life in danger all along. Karma has come visiting you. Criminal life is not, imp is not more important than those of former governors in that prison. Hmm. Come to think about it. They should be transferred to Kirikiri Maximum Security Prison. Maximum safety. People are too savage. Ah. Hmm. If Kiari's life is in danger in Nigeria, why not fly him to the U.S. where he is wanted? That country is safer for him now. Hmm. If you reason the matter, not true. Shebi, I'm making good they're going to face charges against them because those ones, they don't go even treat her with key gloves at all. They go drag her like criminal women. But you just a black man in being. You go deal with her already. If you can find her, say, in the gate. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you have sent so many people to Kujia. so good there. Like I said before, his case is even quite very, very different. You be person, maybe say, you be enforcer of the law. And they can't accuse you of crime, maybe say, you supposed to know. Just be like you, the court law. They can't catch you. Uh, they commit the same crime where they cause to other people or more. Just imagine as it could be. They will not spare you. And that's what they're doing. Okay. <laughs> Are you better than the rest of Nigerians in Kuje prison? In that case, you can take him to Grigri. <laughs> and I don't get chill at all. Mm. Okay. Maybe they should charge, they should change him to Grigri if Kuje is not sufficient for him. And I don't get chill at all. Well, this is a popular, uh, this is, this give me, I just, I just um, had this urge to say this name. What goes around certainly does come around. Then say for this life, all those adage now, now it didn't make sense. So now, now you go just they make sense. People we talk say you should be kind to those you see when you are going up. Say you feel me them on your way down. They're not just stupid. All those are our proverbs or idioms. We people they think they are just words. Hmm. They carry meaning. They carry meaning. In the, dis in the discharge of your duty, you do what? You do it in a very civilized way. Then, see, then, then, see, you s I don't understand. I don't know if you understand me. The people who do their job, like, they do it, they do it not in the right manner. And it is not right. Now, the jaga jaga way where you do your work, now you don't come haunt you so. Amen. It, 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 it's a perfect example of what goes around, comes around. If you have treated people with respect... You have treated them like human beings. Eh? I'm sure there are many, many cases that are coming out against you. Some people who don't talk to them lie. I be? But I never see one person may come and say, I wait till you talk about this man and lie you. See this man nice. Oh. See this man even attend to them well. Nobody don't come and say, come talk. Huh? Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning.